Hey everybody, Jonathan here, and I wanted to make this video about the new update that came out for the Tesla Model 3. So it's 2019.12.1.1. So um, on this new update, there's a few things that I noticed that have been fixed. So I had a couple issues. Um, first was my backup camera. Uh, I think all the time I'm coming from 8.5 firmware that was the previous one before I updated so there was an issue about the backup camera where it took a while for it to come up mine took about 15 seconds to come up every single time and you can see in this video that I'm showing you uh, that that's how long it actually took now um, another thing that's been fixed is my screen sometimes would flicker um, and there's an, this is another video I'm going to show you. The screen would just flicker and I don't, I mean, I was hoping it was just a software issue and it looks like it was. Um, it wasn't a hardware issue, thank goodness. Um, so there's been a few other things that have been updated. Now we can charge at 150 kilowatts. Now, uh, one thing I saw some people were asking online is does the map show you the max it can charge, 150 kilowatts? So it does show it on here. Uh, the only ones that still are not going to be upgraded right now are the 72 kilowatt ones um, those have to be physically upgraded the wiring itself at the actual supercharger so hopefully they'll upgrade those later down the road as more Tesla's and more superchargers are being built uh, and they'll upgrade those at the same time uh, so look at all this traffic in LA it's crazy um, so there's a couple other things I wanted to show you so hold on let me let me open this up real quick Okay, so in here, there's another note here about high-speed performance. Uh, I did notice the difference on that one. Sometimes what I notice is when I'm going from a, a stop and then I'll floor it, and when I hit about, I think, between 50 and 60 miles an hour, it doesn't feel like the torque is still as strong even though I'm flooring it. So um, the high-speed performance, I notice the difference. It does go a little bit longer. Uh, you do you know that when I say go a little longer like that feeling of where your head is kind of being thrown back still um, like a launch roller coaster and uh, Let's see the software updates. This one actually shows you the progress bar when you get updates uh, We'll see that when we get the next update and see what it actually looks like you got new games for the Tesla Tari the en route battery warm up. So if you have a destination set on the navigation and it recommends you stop at a supercharger, the battery is going to warm up before you get there. So that way, when you start charging, it'll charge uh, faster than uh, the previous updates. So additional language support and then the web browser that's been upgraded. I believe uh, Elon Musk said that the browser is Chromium. Um, or if it's Chrome, one of those, it is way faster now. So if we go to, to the web and let's see, we'll go to Tesla and I'm on LTE right now. So it loads way faster than before. Uh, we can go to another site. We can go to YouTube, something with a lot of images. Oops, wrong word. YouTube.com. I mean, it's, it's way better than before. You still can't watch videos, so I'm just showing you links that have a lot of images so you have a general idea of how fast the new browser is now. So like CNN, that's loaded with a lot of content. And look how quick it loads. So this is much, much better than before, that's for sure. Uh, so let's see. And also, uh, oh yeah, the sentry mode I know we're, some or a lot of people are waiting for the option to where you can keep sentry mode on. That hasn't been fixed yet. So even if you turn it on and you hit this, it's still it's still not gonna stay on all the time. You have to flip it on. You have to flip it on every single time you get out of the car. Uh, another new thing was in service: the reset TPMS sensors. That's new. Um, the software button. That's going to be when you're getting new software downloaded to your car. But other than that, I didn't see anything else new yet. So um, if you have any comments or if there's anything that's, that I missed, uh, please leave a comment below because I would like to know what I'm missing. Um, I am going to try out the supercharger, the 150 kilowatts, uh, but I want to run my battery down to around like 10, 10% or 15% so that I can get the full effect of the 150. Um, 
but I'll make another video. Uh, I did see that there was another video where they compared it. Um, I just want to see if my uh, my experience will be similar or different. So if it's different, I'll definitely post a video and then uh, I'll let you know. But thanks again for watching and have a good one.